Raila 2022 moves anger jubilee MPs. Is he for real, they ask. Barely three months after a peace pact with President Uhuru Kenyatta, the opposition leader is consulting with politicians from central Kenya to the chagrin of some jubilee party officials. We do have a, a jubilee party member in studio this morning. The official word is that this is an extension of the spirit of the handshake, but Odinga has been known to outwit political geniuses. The story continues on page four of the Daily Nation this morning. What are you up to? Jubilee leaders wary of Raila plans. Uh, on the other daily this morning, uh, this is a standard Jubilee MPs push Uhuru over Ruto. MPs demand urgent meeting chaired by President Kenyatta over the March 9th handshake with Raila Odinga, which they claim is causing internal strife in the ruling party. For our news review this morning, Dan Manzo MP Makweni, good morning, Karibu Sana. Good morning. Dindi Nyoro MP Kiharu. And uh, Richard Onyonka MP Kitutu Chacha South. Good morning, gentlemen. Karibu Sana. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir, it appears uh, Jubilee <laughs> is in strife, and uh, we do have a member of the Jubilee party here. <laughs> We're going to understand, first and foremost, that, uh, and this is already in the dailies, that uh, yes, there is a, a, a big meeting happening this week. Of course, there was that meeting between uh, the principals of your party, the president and his deputy on Friday, mm -hmm. a big five-hour meeting, mm -hmm. closed door. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing that uh, there is a meeting, Jubilee set whole key party meeting amid infighting within party. Mm -hmm. This is on page five of the Daily Nation. There is a big meeting uh, this week. Uh, have, have you received the invite yet? Uh, not yet, friend, but I have to say, it's only serious political parties that books out serious headlines in almost every uh, 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 newspaper in the country mm -hmm. but also a big party we have to keep on uh, checking on ourselves from inside so that we do not degenerate because Jubilee has become a huge party a conglomerate of so many other parties that folded to join us and it uh, just calls uh, for, for us to keep on uh, meeting checking on ourselves to naitana mkutano diyo tujue how to taendelea bele so what we are doing and even the push to have a meeting is not something peculiar. It is not something out of the troubles. It is something that is routine. So can you confirm that this meeting is happening uh, tomorrow as uh, according to the headlines? I have only read it on media, but I'm hoping it is there because clearly we need a PG as soon as possible so that we can even uh, answer so many questions mm -hmm. that we are also reading on, on media. Because some of the things that uh, are, are being peddled, uh, Fred, they are actually have no source. Nimutu mm -hmm. he, the other one, this. But if you try to dig deeper on where the exact source is, actually there is none. The, the infightings that are there, they are only on newspapers. Mm -hmm. They are only there on TV. As far as we are concerned, uh -huh. as members of Jubilee, as far as I'm concerned as a Jubilee registrature, there is no infighting per se. Mm -hmm. It is only being ballooned by the media. Okay. And uh, your colleagues here may have a different <coughs> opinion on that. Uh, gentlemen, you come from the other side. Yes. Uh, it is interesting that uh, when you look at the headlines, yes, it's about Jubilee, but uh, there's always a mention of Ray Lodinga. Uh, on the standard, <laughs> Jubilee MPs push Uhuru over Ruto, but then that handshake with Ray Lodinga comes up. Uh, on the front page of the Daily Nation, it's, uh, it's about Jubilee, but Raila is the first uh, word <laughs> on that splash. Raila 2022 moves <laughs> under Jubilee MPs. Uh, don't you think that probably that's something that the, the, the opposition uh, should be celebrating, that yes, we are rocking the ruling party <laughs> from within? <laughs> Uh, not exactly. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, one time we had NARC in this country, 202. It was a very big party. Uh, then uh, two, 2007, <coughs> we had PNU, very big party. And now recently we've had uh, NASA and we've had uh, Jubilee. Uh, if, if, if you look at the history of, of huge political parties, and you know uh, Jubilee is a, is a combination of TNA and the URP, uh, then uh, it means they can only have one PG of now Jubilee. Mm -hmm. they, uh, though we have seen the people running around uh, uh, have, have been uh, the URP uh, part of the uh, Jubilee uh, party. Uh, so, 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 you know, definitely since the handshake, which is now a reality, there has not been uh, a PG for Jubilee. And uh, I believe it's for good reasons. So, so we, th these jitters are real, and uh, I'm very sure. Uh, after the five-hour meeting, I have seen uh, the the DP's uh, attitude change. He was now talking of uh, development, though he's still moving around the country. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's politicking. Of course, he's running uh, for 2022. But I can assure him that 
he will not go unchallenged in 2022. It's only that now he doesn't know exactly who his challenger is, and that is what's part of co uh, what is causing the jitters. Okay. Of course, there, there's mention of NASA as well on page five of uh, the Daily Nation. Raila Rally's allies in plans to revive NASA. We'll come to that, but still on the big headlines and uh, the kind of suspicion we're seeing. Uh, the suspicion about the handshake. Uh, yes, it appears that uh, after the handshake, that's where the problem started for Jubilee. But yes, it's uh, for good reason. Raila Odinga does not just come into your house and uh, you stay comfortably. We saw what happened uh, <laughs> in Kanu. <laughs> uh, back in the, uh, the year 2000, uh, was it 2000? Yes, uh, just a few uh, 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 years Fancy, yeah. uh, before uh, the turn of the millennium. Uh, yes, Raila Odinga's moves should be read uh, with a lot of uh, caution by anyone. Fred, um, <coughs> number one, I would agree with you 100%. Uh, Raila is not somebody that you dismiss casually or you treat casually. Uh, the reality is that Raila has been part and parcel of the political class in this country. Most probably, if you look at the, 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 uh, the times, uh, most probably for the last 40 years, it's going to be somebody who's been around. Number two, I don't think the problem really is Raila's problem. Jubilee has got issues which have to be handled honestly. Uh, according to me, a lot has happened comments coming out from Honorable Member Oscar Sudi uh, when the <coughs> President came out and said let's have a, a lifestyle audit being mm -hmm. conducted on all of us, the politicians and many of the, um, the members of Parliament and, and, and indeed uh, most managers of, of, of uh, state enterprises. Then uh, to me the statements which <coughs> I would handled very carefully by him uh, referencing to Mamangina Kenyatta and then referencing to Mzee Jomo Kenyatta about um, their lifestyle audits. It has created a, a consternation within Jubilee. You have those individuals who are saying that uh, the behavior of the lieutenants of the deputy president mm -hmm. um, is actually bad behavior politically. And as a result, it is creating bad blood within the two sides. Mm -hmm. Then I also know very surely that there are individuals within the Jubilee side who are saying President Uhuru is fighting for his legacy. President Uhuru is particularly worried about what corruption is doing to his country as a president. Mm -hmm. And you have individuals who are dismissing these issues and these worries that President Uhuru has got casually. So this is something that is happening but at the same time my interpretation Fred is that <coughs> if you look at the Kenyan politics and you look at what is happening to Jubilee it is simply because Raila had just flagged in a white flag and walked away and he, he's been watching from the sidelines mm -hmm. and as a result of that immediately Raila starts talking about I think now let us figure out what the opposition is going to be is going to do, Jubilee will then again coalesce together because Raila will be the enemy. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. <laughs> but of course you said that uh, such a meeting, if at all it's true, mm. is very welcome at this mm. point. True. Uh, what would really be the agenda of this meeting? Are we saying because the headlines seem to suggest that Raila Odinga mm -hmm. and that handshake could be the problem. Do you expect that handshake uh, to be part of the agenda or is it uh, the fact that the president said uh, that all state officers including himself should have this lifestyle audit conducted? Do you think those two issues will feature or should feature in that meeting according to your own opinion? Uh, Fred, you know, we have more pressing matters as a country and also as a government because Jubilee is now the government. And I'm sure key among the agendas that should be uh, on, 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 the, on the plate for any PG of Jubilee, number one, of course, is the fight against corruption because that is one of the current calls from our president at the moment. But more importantly, Fred, the, we are talking about Big Four Agenda. And you remember, uh, ever since we came up with the big four agendas from the president, we have actually met, I think, only once. So we needed to meet as a Jubilee lawmakers and as a PG so that we know even in terms of making laws how we should come in uh, to assist the, 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 the government in achieving the big four agenda. But um, I have to say also, a family meets not because there are agendas on the table. 
a family should always meet because you need to talk even things that are not substantive agendas because we need to catch up with each other as a party we need to take stock are you saying that some of these things that i mentioned are not substantive enough uh, to feature the meeting a lifestyle audit that handshake right loading a factor I, I talked about corruption and i'm sure that is where the lifestyle audit falls in but uh, as a rejoinder to uh, was richard's comments about sudis and the rest and some of us who are lieutenants of whichever side mm -hmm. when you are a pnt and a came together and the uh, when the other parties joined us it is usually a matter of individuals it is uhuru kenyatta that went to a, a room with deputy president william ruto and they talked if that was left to us as politicians mm -hmm. of course uh, this kind of uh, union will never have seen the light of day because sometimes we can politic for this for the sake of politicking also the hardship it had to take Raida Odinga going into a room just two of two individuals Raida Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta and therefore we cannot purport to take the uh, whatever we say or whatever the written and say to mean this is either deputy president speaking or it is the president speaking mm -hmm. they know clearly and eloquently how to speak for themselves yes. and they have done it so far if it's a matter of corruption and lifestyle audit, audit don't listen to whatever Nero says and purport to uh, represent Uhuru Kenyatta or William Ruto they have pronounced themselves clearly okay. on the matters on the table especially the lifestyle audit and the rest and therefore let us stop um, uh, second guessing either of them we know they are more eloquent than all of us. Mm -hmm. So let us give them a chance, and they have done it okay. to speak for themselves. Well, you want to uh, I was just <coughs> saying, but the deputy president did not rebut what mm -hmm. uh, Oscar Sudi said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I go to my constituency today, and one of my lieutenants stands up and says something, for example, against my governor in Kisi, and it's public forum, mm -hmm. then the next meeting we have, I'm going to be in a public rally, and if I didn't take that position, which my lieutenant took, mm -hmm. I would actually say the other day, uh, Mr. X and Y raised this issue mm -hmm. about my governor. I actually did not say that. I do not agree mm -hmm. with that. I respect my governor, and I think I'm working with him. Okay. So, so I ag according to me, I know my brother Nyoro is in a very difficult position. <laughs> you understand <laughs> this, uh, his uh, caution? No, I do, I do, I do. I really sympathize with the politicians in Jubilee right now mm -hmm. because Jubilee is actually in a mess. <laughs> well, but, but some of them are not uh, that uh, quiet uh, because according to the story on the standard page five, handshake dilemmas Ruto allies push for talks. Uh, several Jubilee MPs are pushing for a meeting chaired by the president to discuss the implications of the handshake to the ruling coalition and the perception that uh, Deputy uh, President William Ruto is being sidelined. Uh, you, you interact <laughs> with these uh, members. Yes. Uh, some of them have been quoted here, Nakuru Town West MP, Samuel Arama. Uh, they've gone ahead, Caleb Kositani MP, Soi, uh, Kuresoi South MP, Joseph Tunui, all seem to agree with that kind yes. of uh, discussion. This is a general perception that that handshake uh, probably is intended to sideline uh, William Ruto. Now this should be what they discussed there uh, at, at that meeting, don't you think? And in your own interaction with these MPs, do you think that this will be the main agenda of that meeting? It should be, and uh, most probably th this meeting will not take place uh, because uh, the situation is, uh, is, 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 is so hot right now that uh, uh, I, I see that the meeting is likely to be stopping. And the last meeting Jubilee had was 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 a tough one it was not easy and uh, i'm sure if nyoro was there he remembers uh, the president was very tough on mm -hmm. them the president is focused in building a united kenya he wants to leave a legacy and uh, he and um, uh, the honorable right honorable right Odinga have said that uh, you, you know kenya is bigger than the two of them and uh, and uh, the people running around now really uh, talking about 2022, no, it's a clear indication they don't care about Kenya. We cannot politic every day. Uh, you know, we, we have to settle down and work. And though they are saying we are working now, it's time to work. Really, the, the, the big four agenda. In fact, it is now the Honorable Raila Odinga and uh, and us, all Kenyans, now working on the uh, on that agenda. It's not really a jubilee agenda. It's a country's agenda. And therefore, the truth of the matter is there, there is trouble in jubilee. Uh, the fight uh, against corruption is going to catch up with some of them. 
and this is a reality. Yes. So, so, so Kenya should wake up now and realize that we are in a new Kenya. The handshake is a reality. Uh, we want to build a united country whereby it doesn't matter who becomes president. You cannot force, mm -hmm. it cannot be by force that I must become president. It must be by the people. Mm -hmm. And the MPs <laughs> in, uh, in central Kenya um, must know uh, that it is what the people want. It is not what the MPs want. And if one MP runs around uh -huh. the whole country, it's not what his constituency uh, And uh, it's, it's interesting to mention the uh, MPs from Central Kenya because yes. they form the headlines this morning <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. yes. What are you up to? Jubilee leaders wary of Raila plans. A three-hour closed door meeting between the opposition leader Raila Odinga and a group of former Mount Kenya legislators and businessmen last week is causing jitters within Jubilee party. Of course, there's that perception about the handshake sidelining uh, uh, Deputy President William Ruto. That's on one side. MPs from Rift Valley are really concerned about that. Mm. You, on the other hand, and your colleagues from Mount Kenya region are also concerned, according to the headlines, mm. uh, by uh, Rai Lodinga's uh, intentions. Mm. Now, do you share in those concerns? Uh, what exactly is the problem uh, in as far as uh, Rai Lodinga's actions from the eyes mm. of the Mount Kenya leaders? First of all, I'm not aware of any meeting Raida has held with the Mount Kenya MPs. Former, I, I, I former, I, former, 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 they are, they are former, mm -hmm. former, former members of parliament. But I also have to say, we fully, and myself uh, on my own behalf, and also for so many, I'm sure I'm, I'm speaking for many of my colleagues, we support the hardship and the unity that is there in the country 100%. Because, Fred, it would be a hurricane task, it would be so hard mm -hmm. for us to channel our energies towards the Big Four agenda and towards uh, leaving a legacy for our president, Uru Kenyatta. If we have irritants, like what was there before, mm -hmm. uh, NASA was a huge irritant, whether, whatever thing we, we, we did was wrong. Mm -hmm. But now that we have some kind of unity, especially after the hardship, we can only heal the, 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 the situation at the moment. But uh, politics is politics, friend. And we cannot hide ourselves in the sand and assume that uh, we, 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 we just assume things will be all fine because uh, they, are, they are being said that it will be all fine. Mm -hmm. Raida Odinga is a politician. Raida Odinga is a strategist. He has a history. And judging by the history, then we have to keep our eyes wide open. So you do share in the concerns? I partly share the concerns that whereas we appreciate and whereas we uh, are in the hardship and we fully support it, we also have to know that Raida Odiga is a politician and what you are doing is politics. But what exactly uh, is your concern when he holds a meeting with the former members of parliament from that region? Like, uh, what exactly? Uh, I need to understand from a member of parliament who comes from that region, what exactly is the concern there? <coughs> the, the, the concern, basically, uh, as you know, uh, Fred, politics is about numbers. And we are not sure yet what Raida is up to mm -hmm. as we approach 2022. And therefore, him reaching out, uh, not just Mount Kenya leaders, we have seen so many delegations mm -hmm. going to visit, uh, uh, to visit Raida Odiga at his uh, office and also in hotels. And what is uh, worrying is that whereas Raida is promoting hardship through such leaders like uh, the meeting he had with the former registrators from Mount Kenya region, he himself is opposed to Ruto himself, deputy president, taking and cascading the same hardship to Masinani. Mm -hmm. Then we wonder why, what is special about Raida's <coughs> hardship that he does not want any other person to share on the same unity uh, clarion call. Mm -hmm. Do no, you understand no, no. the concerns? No, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't think uh, anyone is preventing any other person from uh, taking the handshake to the grassroots. It's, uh, it's a matter of common sense. And uh, the truth of the matter is uh, you can hear now the Honorable Nyoro is beginning to crack up. It is about numbers. And mm -hmm. Central Kenya has uh, quite, uh, you know, it's important in politics for anybody who wishes to become uh, president in future. Uh, the truth of the matter is uh, the former MPs in uh, Central, uh, from Central Province particularly, you know, that's what the, the, what the meeting was about, really have a serious following. Mm -hmm. And a new friend, uh, you know, you know, the Honorable Nyoro is quite new in politics. Uh, uh, he may not be better than some of these uh, gentlemen who've been there for 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. They've got quite a following. Uh, and I believe uh, there's a serious reality here that as much as we are all taking the handshake to the grassroots, Kenyans must be freed of anarchy so that you think independently, you don't think tribally. Uh, you, you have to think 
and choose the president of your choice, not because he comes from your tribe or from a region or because you are pay back. If it is pay back favors, even 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 the wiper party and the wiper leader has, has a lot of uh, has done a lot to others. Mm -hmm. To others, everyone has made sacrifices to others. Yes. So so uh, what I am very sure of is. Uh, uh, before payback time, it will take quite a while for Jubilee. Take it from a senior official of the Wiper Party. <laughs> uh, uh, for, for me, uh, I, I want to... Uh, Fred, the truth is, what was the handshake about? When you look at it, mm -hmm. what, what, what is, well, why did Prime Minister Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta meet without uh, Deputy President William Ruto being there and them agreeing on something, even though we may not have all the details about that, it was be simply because the country's politics had become toxic. Mm -hmm. It had become toxic to a point where uh, the economy wasn't moving, the Kenyans were beginning to hate each other to a level whereby we couldn't even understand some of us. Uh, it had reached a stage where everybody was saying, can't somebody do something about our country because after all our country is sliding mm -hmm. into a position that we may never get back from after that the handshake comes everybody is very happy about it and in reality uh, uh, prime minister odinga and uhuru then put the country into the mode whereby we're saying let's try and work together let us try and uh, put aside our disagreements which have existed historical or otherwise mm -hmm and try and see whether we can move the country ahead. Then we have just all of a sudden realized that one of the major issues we have in this country is about corruption. And the president has come out very, very strongly and he has said, can we fix the mess we have? Because our country is sliding into the abyss for the simple reason that uh, we are overspending, we are over borrowing, we are stealing everything that is left wherever it is and basically all the resources that the country is collecting is not actually servicing the economy those are the issues that we need to be talking about the political class needs to be engaged in it with itself whereby i don't find it any any i don't find any problem going to kisi for example with the deputy president for a fundraising and a function but i find i would find it very difficult to start throwing insults <laughs> to anybody within mm -hmm. the ruling class, whether it is Honorable Kalonzo Bishoko or Raila or whoever it is, mm -hmm. because the feeling that most Kenyans have is, let us leave this politics of divide and rule, the politics of hate, the politics of subdivision. Okay, but do, do you understand the kind of suspicion uh, that uh, uh, MPs from Mount Kenya region have? That is true, but the point, the point I wanted to ask mm. uh, Fred and even uh, my brother Maanzo, did you really think that after the handshake, Raila would go to his house and lock himself out and keep reading novels? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. He's still free to go. I don't have a problem with William Ruto as a deputy president moving around and him talking about himself and him coming up with an agenda where he sells himself. Personally, I do not. Mm -hmm. This issue of, oh, you're into politics. I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. The problem I have with that is that we are slowly shifting this engagement that we are supposed to have after the handshake where again it is creating divisions which the handshake was supposed mm -hmm. to have resolved in the beginning yes. and this is what we, many of us are uncomfortable about and then when you ask uh, Nyoro's group they will tell you no these guys are actually planning and organizing Raila and other people mm -hmm. have been seeing uh, or even there are people around the Murkumen story there are people around the president who actually now um, don't want the deputy president to win? Who said? Yes. Who said that after President Uhuru Kenyatta, other than in Jubilee, that Kenyans were going to agree that a Jubilee person should become president of the republic? Mm -hmm. well, because after all, if you look at the history of Kenya from 1963, the truth is, Fred, and and and, and this is a very sensitive issue in this country called Kenya. The truth is, there's by the time if President William Ruto comes in, you're going to find two communities having ruled this country for the last 100 years. Yes. Now, those are sensitive issues which we must handle with caution. Mm -hmm. 
we can't just dismiss them. We can't be in a position where we look around and say, oh, you know after Uhuru is going to be President William, and then after William, we are going to get uh, President Murkomen, then after that, no. Is that the concern <laughs> that uh, it's just a political realignment uh, that probably even Raila Odinga is seeking to divide? Because according to the story on page four of the standard, that's exactly, of the Daily Nation, that's what it uh, seems to suggest, mm -hmm. that uh, his forays into Mount Kenya by meeting that particular group of people mm -hmm. could be seeking to actually divide uh, the votes uh, in Mount Kenya. Do you think that uh, holds any water? I think uh, more jitters are on the double standards mm -hmm. because there is no one who is restricting the former prime minister from meeting anyone, either in his office, either in Mashinani, or either in a hotel, or whichever other place. Is the mistrust then directed and at the former legislators and not Ray Lodinga necessarily? Uh, not, um, not, not per se, but uh, I also want uh, to add up on what Mwashimiwa is talking about that Raira Odiga was not expected mm -hmm. to go lock, in, uh, lock himself in a house and start watching movies. But also, what did you expect of deputy president? What do you expect of a sitting president also? Did you expect that after the hardship, now Ruto should never actually step his foot in any village or in any estate in this country? Mm -hmm. Basically, William Ruto has been doing what his job description is that he is the principal assistant to the president. And by doing so, there are some projects that are being done and implemented by the Jubilee government. And I want to deviate a little from uh, the much talk you are seeing every time, that you have started 2022 campaigns. Which campaigns? Which campaign is it? Where, uh, what ca kind of campaign do you do when you go to Rancha Road, for example? Which kind of campaign do you do when you go to support a church uh, in terms of their infrastructure or otherwise? Fred, what you've been doing is clear, is that even as we implement the agendas of the Big Four, even as we implement the Jubilee agenda, there we also have to have a human touch. We have to go to Masinani and find out whether it is the hospital that uh, the hospital that we are launching that is more important, or a road or a bridge, mm -hmm. and that is basically what you've been doing. Okay. But going back to Raira Odinga, Fred, and I'm sure we'll be back here maybe after some two, three years. We have to be worried. And we have to be alert as politicians <laughs> on anything that is done by Raira, by Raira Odinga. <laughs> and I'm not saying this in bad faith. I'm backed up by history and I'm backed up by, uh, by, by, by his own um, um, conduct in the past. Mm -hmm. There is no place that Raira Odinga has been in terms of a party that remained intact. Are you saying that uh, according to what the standard has done, because they've played with this picture, they yeah. have uh, the president on one side, the DP on the other side, and uh, Raila Odinga right in the middle. I'm, I know this is, was not accidental. The, yeah. It seems to suggest <laughs> something. <laughs> it, it, do you agree <coughs> with this? That well, probably there's an attempt to well, cause a rift? Well, what I know is that there is potential for that. 